Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another story of the deadly sins as they try to clear the corruption around Gloomhaven. Let's jump right back in to where we left off. We just cleared the burrow layer, and now we shall continue on to the next adventure for our quartet of sins, sloth, gluttony, greed, and wrath. Okay, so here we are, back at Gloomhaven. We finished the Burrow Lair and Black Burrow. They have returned to Gloomhaven. Greed has hit the bars pretty hard with the money they have received. Gluttony slips out at night and slits the throat of some drunks and homeless on the street consumes their souls. Wrath picks a fight with some bullies in the corner of an alley and destroys them. Sloth ponders and thinks about what could have gone better on their last adventure. But let us do a city encounter as we all gather in the morning for the next adventure for today. You are walking across the silent bridge heading toward the sleeping lion to get a quick meal when you see a quattro standing in front of a small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Come try the del delicacies of the East, the quattro barks. Food enhanced with science, flavors beyond your wildest imagination. This is an interesting situation we are put in. Because we have Sloth, who is a tinkerer, a man of science. A man of too much science. Believe science could do so many things. And it caused the murder of so many because of his laziness to to do the testing. Greed wants to know how much it cost. But Sloth says, listen, we need to be hardy. We don't need to go to the sleeping line for food. We can get food right here. It's less of a trip. Let's eat the food. You decide to indulge in the unknown and see what the Quattel has is offering. He looks very pleased as you approach and instructs you to inhale the tube of vapors. Then take a bite from the bowl full of tiny golden spheres. As the spheres melt in your mouth, the taste mixes with the aroma of the vapors to create a wonderful experience. You pay what you can, but the quattro seems solely focused on how much you enjoyed the meal. So we lost three gold each, but we've been blessed. That's absolutely amazing. So, I love a good blessing. Alright, so we have the Arcade Library. The Crypt of the Domed and the Inox Encampment. Let's see, this is the core quest here. This is, oh, this is core quest too. Uh, to your library. Kill the Arcane Golem. That would be a side quest. That's going to be a note for me right now. Um, investigate the Bend and Still River, or the Inox Encampment. Well, we're going to try this Inox Encampment here, because I got a treasure chest, some unclaimed stuff. Um, 
Inox archers, guards, and shamans. I think that's something we can manage as a as a group here. Rat Sloth rounds everybody up. Says let's let's continue on a journey. Where should we go? Greed's like, let's go get some more money from that one woman that just paid us. So they all head out to the Inox camp. Let us go. And let us have an encounter on the road. You come across a group of brow-beaten Inox treading down the path in the opposite direction as you. Some are pulling carts laden with various miscellany, mostly furs and crudely crafted goods. The rest have armloads of much the same. It is obvious that this is everything the Inox have. Their life's worth in their arms and wagons. They are all covered in what appears to be soot. The shaman at the head of the group calls to you. The beast awakens. The mountain is aflame. Beware you do not anger it. Looking to the horizon, you can see black smoke rising far off. Far. A from a far off peak. So do we aid the Inox with what they are carrying or ignore the shaman's ramblings? Well, Wrath is an Inox. And the reason one of his character traits is, is anger and hate. And one of the reasons for the anger and hate was the enslavement of his people. So he will aid these people, despite what the rest of the group says. And he would fight them there in the street and still aid the Inox. So we shall aid them. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Um, you take pity on the disheveled disheveled group of Inox forced from their home by a natural disaster. You travel with them for a time, treating their wounds and helping to lighten their loads. The shaman thanks you and hands you an amulet. We can't return to our homes until the beast is at rest. I fear this means for all of us. I fear what this means for all of us. I hope this keeps you safe. So we got ten collective gold and we start each encounter with two cards discarded each. Ugh. So, well. The Inox takes all the money and says he'll fight anyone who tries to take it from him because this is the money from his people. So, that is that. The two cards discarded each is going to hurt. So this merchant wants to make an example of some caravan raiders. Yeah, seems reasonable enough. For the right amount of money, almost anything can be made reasonable. You enter the Dagger Forest, and begin to track down the encampment, using Jaxera's crude map. It is well hidden, but following the signs outlined on the parchment, you find a dense cluster of huts in a small clearing of the forest. All that's left is to head in and make that requested example. Okay. Let's see here. Well, Sloth being the leader, um, he will do his best to make sure no one comes exhausted. Um, yeah, he's going to kill five or more people. Uh, reveal a room tile by opening a door during the scenario health equal two or less um she would go um, looking for 
more people to kill after Wrath murders everyone. Um, I'm not going to take only short rest. Um, he he would, uh, she would, uh, Greed would, would definitely be the first to kill a monster. Definitely. Um, she has that ability. She'd get angry, demand the gold, and just dagger somebody in the face. Well, she's faster than everybody else. All right, here we go. Wow. Um, so, kill a number of enemies equal to five times the number of mercenaries. So, 20, apparently. Um, wow, that's quite a... So we got a... Sh is that a shaman back there? So we got a shaman elite. Some archers over here. Uh, movement 2, attack range 3. Okay, so they got range 3. And then these are our moves to attack 2. So 6. It's only one elite. That's not that's not horribly bad. Um, let's Oh, that's right. I got to discard two cards. Um Armless contraption. That one. Oh, this card goes. I'm gonna use skewer. I need leaping cleave. Overwhelming assault. Um, I don't need trample. I mean, they're not burned. They're just discarded. This is one that hurts right here. This is one that hurts. Um. Ride the wind. Uh, Pale interruption. Uh, quick hands. Venom uh, shiv. Okay. Alright. So we're going to go with this. Oh, no. This guy's gonna go there, this guy's gonna go there. This guy's gonna go there. Alright. So, seeing all these enemies, Greed's like, uh, this one's mine, and sees this one here, and is gonna do singled out. Um. Is what I'm looking for. So smoke bomb. Pull this guy. And he's gonna start there. One. We're gonna pull this guy right into here. And we're gonna hit him with singled out. Hopefully five damage. And we get a good, we get one of those blessed in our deck. And we hit him like a truck, hopefully. Um,
Let's see here for a second. If I go with flanking strike. And smoke bomb. I can use singled out. Um, actually, no, scratch that. I'm gonna go with throwing knives. And... Um, I'm gonna go with throwing knives and singled out. I'm going to uh, do the bottom action on singled out. So my next four attacks, um, it's not going to matter on the first two, but I'm going to attack two of these with uh, arrows here. Um, she's going to go late with the mystic ally and um, probably fire orb. That sounds good for her. Um, he is going to... Provoking roar. So we're going to move in here, disarm this guy right here with provoking roar and leaping cleave. That'll introduce air. Then we can use Pierce next round if they're still lined up in a way. So that'll be the move action and uh, 10. This guy needs to stun somebody. Um, could mobilize these two. That shooter. Is that raid one, two, three? No, he'd have to move two. Now, these two are going to focus on these three. These two are going to take this side of the room. So, um, we just need to stun one, two, three. So, we need to stun this guy right here. Um, and. We'll go 16. Right. Okay, move to attack range 3. I don't think he's going to get to us. The archers are definitely not going to get to us. We're going to move 4, attack, and strengthen. But hopefully we have some stunned and disarmed and stuff. So, Alright, so he's going to go. Okay. Start worrying about him soon. So... He's a little mad about that. He was like, it should have died. Not cool. It's going to end his turn. We're going to take some damage here. Um, let's see here. Alright. 
Uh, we need to stun this one. Doki, that is not the the rage I would like them to be in. Um, okay. Um, well, fire alarms. One, two, three. Eagle eye goggles. This kills somebody, Green. I'm soup, soup, soup. Sorry, but we're not in a good situation. Oh. Yeah, lust. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Green. So sorry. Let me turn that down just a smidge there. Yep. Yeah, so sorry there, Green. Um. Yep. Yeah. That was her bad. But you needed those souls. Every time Greed gets that quest to to kill first and someone else does it for him. Okay. Um, the interesting part. Oh, there is a room back there. Okay. I was going to say, is there even a room for her to reveal? But there's rooms on the side and stuff. Okay, so uh, in Spellweaver's turn. All right, so let's see here. So, the scoundrel wants to go first. to move um so he's gonna do those two things uh she is going to nano bolt to go fast gonna go 36 um
Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. Oh, I have wind and not fire. Alright, um... Yeah, she's gonna go a little bit later. With flame strength. Wow, I really have some issues there. Okay, so 36 flame strike. He wants to go first. Alright. Wrath. Wrath is. Wrath is a little peed. Um, he is very angry. Um. He's going to use Shield Bash and Sweeping Blow. He wanted to use Skewer, but uh, nobody lined up for that. So he's going to Sweeping Blow uh, these enemies right here. And Shield Bash for the initiative and probably put that shield on himself. Because he's probably going to take some strength and hit the Tinker or Sloth. Sloth is always last to decide. Um, so if he's going to take care of these two, and then we have this one up here. Um, toxic bolt. Two, three, that's going to reach. Um, um, So, so we're going to miss three. It'd have to be there. Then he would definitely take hits, but he has an invisibility cloak. So if I net shooter those, these guys will be immobilized with net shooter. Um, are the only move four I have? That is the only move four I have. Okay, so that's what he's going to do. Um, Um, flame strike, mana bolt. All right, that should be everybody. Yep. Yeah, let's go with this here. Um, okay, so we're going before everybody. That's good. He's going to bless people. That's not the way I like it to go. All right, uh, so okay, what are the range 
of these archers. Move two, range three, so one, two, one, two, three. So they're going to hit the Mystic Ally. What are they shooting for? Two damage. Um, he's going to move. He's going to move up there. All right. Okay, um, uh, skip movement and scoundrel's turn. Nice, yeah. fantastic ally. Alright, Spellweaver. Um, okay, range two. I just clicked the wrong card to move. Oh. I just clicked the wrong card to move. I meant to click this one to move and use the one with wound. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo anything. I'm gonna go invisible here. Um I'm not going to have fire again, so I'm not going to pull a card back. Alright. So he's going to sweep and blow these two. I knocks brethren, and yeah, that's about all he can do. Okay, minimum. Minimum, great job on the minimum. He's gonna shield up. Okay, and it's gonna be his turn. And um, he needs to be right here. it. Alright. Big attack time. Okay. Well, they're all immobilized. That's good. Alright. Invisible. Alright. Okay, so that is near as... I think my mystic ally is going to die. Alright, negative one. That's... Okay, that's cool. That was a times two I dodged there with the leather armor. Right. 
Charge complete. to heal that all people. Um, go ahead and flamethrower. Um, scoundrel. Scoundrel is going to backstab and move in here. Um, seems to be a waste on that. Let's. Sky one two and hit him with. I really don't want to hit him with backstab because that attack two plus two I get that would be like a nine attack and burn a card. We'll see here. What is the Mystic Ally going to do? Freezing Nova. Reviving Ether. She wants to go late. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Bear dagger. I'm gonna go and skewer maybe. Just move up here, skewer these two. Or let this group deal with these and then move up here and skewer these two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's see here. Um, the Tinkerer is here. What is the Tinkerer going to do? Tinkerer is going to flamethrower these guys. Can she handle... Oh, she doesn't have any attack. Um, well, she can move. Three, four, move into that spot. Freezing Nova. Kill one of them and mobilize and just take one hit. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay. 15 on the guards. They're not gonna move. Archer's gonna move one range three. He's gonna move one attack four range three. So, the guards are going to attack two. Uh, so, they're going to poison my brute. They're not going to attack the mystic ally. Well, hopefully this one dies. So, we're going to, to pull this guy to here. And then we're going to... Backstab him for nine damage. There you go. That one's dead. Alright, um. I 
it's his turn. This guy hitting, I was gonna make me burn a card. I will use the heal potion. I'll take care of the poison so I don't take one extra damage. Um, archers, okay, two, all right. That's gonna have to burn a card, thief snack, burn thief snack. Um, so, yeah, we, we got no choice now. Let's move to confirm. Flamethrower. Confirm target. Ah. This should be wounded now. Um, and Tinkerer's turn. Okay, he needs to burn a card. Not as heal. No, not as heal. Choose a different card. Spare dagger. Okay, so she's going to uh, move four to here. And she's going to skip movement. does she have? She has zero cards, so she's going to have to do a short rest and hopefully not burn her one card. Um, so, uh, uh, restore a miss for him. Hopefully he goes before everybody else. Um, Short rest. Uh, sure. Let's burn, grab, and go. Um, provoking roar. Um, let's see here. <laughs> These are all guards, no archers. Um, Trample, I can bring in air again. Um, I'll move here. Provoking roar him and disarm him. Yeah, that's that tinkerer. Uh, short rest. throwing knives and let him shift to move um, yep, and now just a spell weaver because she needs to short rest and burn anything but reviving ether that's fine She's going to mana bolt to go early. Um, freezing Nova again to 
attack and immobilize this guy if it doesn't kill him. She just move away or hit him with this, but I'm hoping to um, Depending on when he goes, I might use this fire here. Um, flame strike. I might wound this guy up here. Get mana bolt. Maybe one, two, two, three. Flame strike is range two. All right. Um, So hopefully 36 is going to be good enough to win this guy. Um, let's do this. Nope, he's going to heal three. Okay, well that's what we need to do. Um, move to attack. So 29. So he's going to get out of there. The Tinker is going to get out of there. Before they go, um, I'm going last. That guard's going to hit me for two. I think I'll be alright. Um, so... We're going to do throwing knives. One, two. That works out. That one's going to be for more damage now. Okay, he wasn't next to one of his allies, so it should have... Singled out should have applied... Uh, I don't know why that didn't happen. Should have been attack of four. What was that? Yeah, it said it was attack of two plus one. That should have been an attack of four because he was singled out. That is, um, I believe that's incorrect. Um, he is just going to move to here. She is, I'm sorry, greed. Uh, skip movement in Scoundrel's turn. Okay, so... Um, okay, so... We're going to not burn that card. We're gonna move just up one. We're gonna dis skip movement. We're gonna disarm this guy. There's my plus. Okay, he's only got one health left. Okay, so. Um, let's just. Oh, it's going to die on the start of its turn, so cancel that. Um, let's move to... Okay. And skip ability. Heal the brute. Okay. And take your turn. Dead. Okay. Um, they got a plus one. Luckily, I didn't get the times two blessing. So that's three damage. Um, what does the scoundrel have left? Um, attack three, range four. Um, 
Yeah, so the scoundrel can drop that dude. She's gonna move up here. And she's going to skip movement. Boom, this guy. Hopefully that kills him. And how many cards do we have left? We have three cards left. Um, I'm going to bring back Flame Strike. Yeah, I'm gonna bring back flame strike. Okay. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of stuff piled up there. Alright, so toxic bolt. Uh reviving shot. So I could do two burn cards here and heal the brute. And there, but range three. So he needs to be standing there, so. Uh, we'll see where that takes us. Um, he's gonna swift bow and smoke bomb. Yeah, he's gonna... One, Moves to moves to and then quick hands moves to probably kill that dude or he could swift bow him from just a regular move. I'll just do that. Um, the spell weaver. Gonna go early. We're gonna do flame strike again. See what happens. Um, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go kind of late. See what moves up. Um, uh, uh, wrath here. And a shield bash. want it. Move three. The leaping cleave. It's really only three damage. Where if I move with it I get um, Maybe get some retaliate going. Some shield. Yeah, we're gonna get some shield and we're gonna retaliate and see how that does us in and let these guys come to us. This guy should die and that should be that. Okay, the shaman is gonna go first. He's gonna. He's gonna make someone not move, and hopefully it's him. Because he didn't want to move. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, 
and this guy wants to so he needs to be four away so one two three four he needs to be right here so move two hopefully we don't mess with this we're good okay so that's the scoundrel's turn shield up Sounds like he says, I am animal. That's what it sounds like. Alright, hopefully they come in and hit him. Oh, that's right, they're not doing that. They're not moving. Okay. This I took very little damage that turn. I did use two early cards though, so that could be a downside. Just Raph is pissed off, and he's like, I'm just going to stand here and let him hit me. That was weird. That guy was supposed to immobilize. But he didn't immobilize him. Yeah, he's not immobilized. Range 3... Immobilize. Huh, that's weird. He's dead his next turn anyways. Um So range three. Um let's move here. And just see, yeah, just him. Um, well, might as well. Everything else going on. Spell Weaver. So everything is attack three. So she is going to heal. No, nope, not yet. Cancel that. Um, she's gonna move to here, and she's going to. Uh, that's right. She can't heal that now. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna skip attack. Um, and Spellweaver's turn. Tinker will long rest. Scoundrel will no, will long rest. He wants all this money. He's definitely gonna get all this money. Um Spellweaver. Freezing Nova, right the wind, seriously, that's all we got. Um Okay, well, what does he have at least? He has skewer. Deeping cleave, sweeping blow. It's just a lot of damage. I could go in there with leaping cleave. And then overwhelming assault and hopefully just murder somebody straight out with six damage, I doubt it. Um, get air and skewer and sweeping blow next time. So move this or move in this. Not sure, we'll just, we'll see what they do. Um, he's just not, not too healthy. Okay, so they're gonna go first. They're gonna move two. They're gonna go one, two. So one, two, and then one, two. So two can attack him. So we're definitely gonna burn this heal. Do 
really can't loot anything, so we'll skip attack. Oh. Alright. Already lined themselves up for skier, so um, oh. let's do this. Ship, you're out. Right. Um, he's long resting. Um, harmless contraption, you're out. Right. Um, okay, so that shooter is out. Ink bomb, we still have. That is a range of three. And that would hit these real nicely. So, ink bomb. Range of three or two, three. So we can hit them with that. Let's, let's go early with the 17. And then heal him for one, two. Um, throwing knives. Um, three knives have a range of three. That's it. This is. This is. Do I have any move cards other than a move two? No, I do not. Um. So. Put smoke bombs for the move. Um, smoke bombs for the move. Move to go right here. And then um, bow this guy in the front. Spellweaver needs a long rest. Um, skewer, sweeping blow. Not sure what I'm gonna do there. Um, Alright. They're gonna go before him. Okay. And what are they doing? They're gonna move three and attack only one, though. So they're gonna get in here with my spell weaver. Okay, so. Let's move to. Um, okay, that was lost. Um, no, that's not right. Let's get here in. That's the target we want, eagle like goggles. Okay. Alright, and what are these moving three? So they're still gonna come in for the attack. Um, move two, so one, two. And we'll confirm targets. One health is one health. Zero 
damage. That's three damage, wow. Okay. Okay, he's gonna try to go around, so you're gonna be my singled out target. Oh look, they 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 lined up real nicely for sweeping blow, didn't they? Um And I just just totally messed missed all that. Um He just needs to Oh, I'm do yeah. So he needs to get out of there. Um, we need to fall back. So that's what we're gonna do. I should have fallen back on some gold. Um, I need ride the wind. Um, flame strike, you're gone. shoot two guys and we're getting out. Spellweaver is going to go super early and uh, I have to do Ride the Wind. So I can't burn this card and then I got a short rest and then I can get all my cards back. So she needs to go really early. Um, he's gonna throw any knives, quick hands. Um, Aries is gonna perform a long rest. Okay, they're gonna move uh, one and attack three, okay. So as long as we get out of there, um, uh, I cannot burn this card, right? I have three cards left. I discard these two. I short rest. I burn one of them. And okay. So I, I cannot burn this card. I have to move two. So I'm going to... Um, move here. And then I'm going to... Uh, loot one. Probably could have did that move two on this one, but uh, it's getting close to the end here. And um, so one, two, can he hit those? Yes, he can. Ooh, and they're both singled out. Well, that one's not. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. That's awesome. Thank you. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, let's just loot one real quick. Alright. In Scoundrel's turn. And then he is going to target this one and this one. Arm attack there. Time stay for that one. For that one. Okay, we're making. He's going to move one, so I'm going to move to here. Okay. Wait, we got four of these left to kill, so long rest. Uh, Trample's fine to go. It's turn. Do hook gun next round. So toxic bolt. Um, uh,
want to stun that guy instead. Stun that guy. And then just move move over here. Um, this guy is going to do uh, and he is running out of cards real quick and long rest. Um, uh, short rest. Doesn't matter. That's fine. So she's going to do those two cards. Heal and then recover her burn cards. Oh. Um, Leaping Cleave, Poking Roar, to disarm this guy. though, so, oh, uh, we're gonna heal, um, cancel that, undo that, so, actually, they're gonna move to here, move there, and then, okay, end spell, weaver's turn, Okay. Hmm. Now. Move here. Disarm this guy. Okay, so he's disarmed. I don't have to worry about him. Um, it's gonna be the brute's turn. Now. Um. They're gonna move one with a range of two that can hit that. Not here. A range of three. So he, he's going to become exhausted very quickly. Um, he wants throwing knives. Um, I guess quick hands. <clears throat> okay, so we want a toxic bolt. That's range three, so if we're here. So we can toxic bolt this guy if we move there. So we'll move with that. And then maybe next time we can loot all of that. Okay, so this guy is gonna throw knives is one, two, one, two, three, okay. So throwing knives, swift bow, but I'm gonna go late. 
Hopefully they go first in movement and give me better targets. Um, she is going to uh, summon the Mystic Ally. I know it's late for that, but it's XP and it could do something. Um, Fire Orbs is not yet. And Flame Strike is not yet. Um, I guess Ride the Wind. Um, I do have air, but I can't. So, I do have my boots. So if I do this and this, I should be able to do this skewer attack and get in front of them with the boots. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't, well, we'll see. Yeah, they're going at 15 and they're just attacking and poisoning. Okay. So, Wrath is going to take another hit, but he's cool, he's got his stuff back, but he will be poisoned. I still have four more of these to kill. So, okay, two damage now. Okay, the Tinkerer is going to move to, to here and attack this guy right there. Minus one, but he was poisoned. Okay, then Tinkerer's turn. And then he is gonna move to here. Um, we're not going to skip the ability. We're gonna skewer with wind. And we're going to hopefully something better than that. Okay, um, Brute may die, um, this one and this one, that's not good, that's not good at all. gonna have to take the hit from this guy next turn. Um, she's gonna summon the mystic ally there, right? No, 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 no. Undo. She's gonna move there. And she's gonna... Oh! Well, this works out better. Because I can heal. No mystic ally, but I was able to heal the poison off. Which really didn't help me at all. Um, oh, I needed that mystic ally. Oh. Of course, the stun. Can't learn it. Um, loot 2. Hopefully you go before they do, and you can heal him for five. Um, oh, short rest. Swift bow, sure. All he has left is smoke bomb, 
and he's exhausted. Uh, she's got uh, fire orbs and a move four. So might as well go all the way late. Um, Aries has got a shield bash and a retaliate. Should retaliate. That might actually work out. It might actually work out this time. And if worst comes to worst, I can heal myself for two. So I can either attack him and kill him. This is what do I need? I need four more people. Um, I think the retaliate and the shield bash. Oh, this is getting... Okay, they're going way late. They're moving one attack and three, okay. So I think I can get a couple of them down. Um... No, 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 clear targets. I'm gonna move here. And then I'm going to attack this one and this one. I know this is at disadvantage, but I'm hoping to just outright kill it. Oh, it's a mess. Wow. Use that one's dead. Okay. Alright, um Oh, that's What are they doing? They're moving one, attacking three. How many cars does he have unburned? One? Um I get a shield, a block one. I have some armor left. Maybe um, I'm not poisoned anymore. This guy will hit me and die. And. He's, he's out this turn, so... gonna move to does she need range three or two um, unfortunately she needs to be right there <coughs> Three. 
I can get here. Yeah, let's do restorative mist. Let's do that. We just gotta basically survive this round here. Um, sure, a long rest. <coughs> Flame strike. Um, short rest. Yep, that's fine. Here we go. Shield bash. Um, and um, leaping cleave to get in there. Okay. Move to attack two, and they're going almost last so okay so he's going to um, what what are they attacking for attacking two can take two guy. I was going to say maybe not. Alright. Um, okay. Uh, that's going to be that. Spell Weaver is going to through the forest, fleeing the smell of burning flesh. Well, that was intense. You now find more than enough opportunity to contemplate your actions. Okay, well, that was down to the wire there. Alright, so we got none of our allies become exhausted. That was... Uh, well, he still didn't kill five or more people? Wow, you just... Wow, Wrath is just disappointing. I just... I'm sure he's just super pissed about that. That's just got to make him super angry. And then, you know, this guy is so greedy. He missed all that money. He's just just throwing knives at people. He's just angry. All right. Uh, let's head out. See what's next on the agenda. We're going to head back to the city no matter what. I believe we made an example out of them. How your actions sit with you must be visible on your face as you meet once more with Jexera, this time in her manner. She hands you a sack of coins with a frown. Seriously, we murdered all those who were sad about and it. Murderers. She says blankly. They deserved what you gave them, and that is all I will say of the matter. I have one more task I would like you to perform. I require a diamond of considerable size for a customer, but I cannot find one anywhere in the city. 
There is a diamond mine, however, in the southern mountains long since lost to the wilderness. I've heard reports that it is now overrun with vermlings. No doubt with some other more intelligent force behind them. If you can fight your way in and grab the biggest diamond you can find, I will give you a considerable reward. Now, leave me in peace. Jaxera's two massive Inox bodyguards step forward, directing you to leave the manor. After what i just been through with Inox, I could take these two bodyguards. Outside, contemplating your new task, you hear a small voice behind you. She's not looking for profit, you know. You turn around to see a female quattrall step out of the alley beside Jaxera's house. She's clad in dark leather armor and holds a conspicuous contraption full of whirring gears and topped with a conical metal piece connected to a tube. Oh, Sloth is very interested in this. Uh, I believe Greed left. She, she went to the bar to gamble away any profits we just made. Wrath is still furious. He didn't get the five kills. And um, Gluttony has uh, has consumed all the souls in the Inox camp and is quite wore out from feasting. Argis, city guard, she says, introducing herself. I know I don't exactly look the part, but if anyone isn't what they appear to be, it's that Valrath you've been talking to. Sure, she's a merchant, but she's up to something far more sinister. She's been trying to overthrow the military in Gloomhaven for as long as I've been here. And we're all very curious about what her current machinations are. Look, you can go do her bidding like a good little puppy if you want. But if you'd rather actually help this town keep the peace and not get overrun by the wilds, I have a different idea. We'll get to the bottom of Jexera's plans and expose her for who she really is. Interesting. And we got prosperity, 15 gold each, 6 experience. Nice. And we've unlocked the Burning Mountain. Ooh. And the Diamond Mine. You know, I figured if we're going to a Diamond Mine, we better come out with tons of money. New quest location, Gloomhouse, Gloomhaven Warehouse. Okay. You unlocked a city quest. You can access it by clicking on the Gloomhaven city map button or clicking the new quest in the log. Alright, so let's see here. Here's our log. We have Hunt Jaxera down, city quest. We have the Arcade Library, Burning Mountain, Crypt of the Dam, Diamond Mind. Um, core. Okay, so Burning Mountain is a side quest, um, another side quest, and it doesn't say, um, oh, this has got a core quest and a boss, core quest boss, um, oh, I want to go back to the world map, thank you. Alright, we're not going to do our city encounter, we have some level ups to do. Uh, wow, what, two points away from leveling it up, wow. Alright, we have Sloth, uh, the, the wise one has, has gained a level, let's see what we get. Let's level them up. Good job on leveling up. Each time a mercenary levels up, you'll choose one of two new, more powerful ability cards. The cards you do not choose will still be available to pick up the next time the merc levels up. Leveling up also unlocks a new perk for the mercenary. Continue. As the mercenaries in your party level up, so will the party's general le level. This value is used to determine the enemy's strength, trap damage, and the value of loot in dungeons. You didn't expect things to get easier, did you? Level 2. Okay. Stamina booster. Heal 4, range 3, and then 1 aisle, range 3. Receive one of their burn cards. And that's a perma burn. Uh, okay, this is what I'm talking about right here. Disorienting flash. Wow, that's a that's a late card. 
Hmm. I could add target to that. Add a target. And a range. That's a really good card. Um, no, 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 no. I don't want to take that. Um, I don't care for this card. I don't care for recovered burn cards. Uh, the only one that cares about getting her burn cards back is Gluttony, and she does that already. So I'm going to take Disorienting Flash. Okay, the new ability card has been added to the Merc's ability panel. Don't forget to equip it if you intend to use it in the next dungeon. I do intend to use it in the next dungeon. Getting rid of... Ha harmless Contraption. Okay, there we go. Get rid of Harmless Contraption. That also gives me a move down there. It's, I know it's only a move too, but it is a move. Um, let's check our perk points out. We have two perks because we did the side panel thing. You've unlocked a perk. Nicely done. They're not easy to come by. It's actually keeping a dozen dungeon in the chosen battle goal rewards with the merc. Rewards the merc with perk points. Collecting three of these will unlock a perk. You can also unlock a perk by leveling up a mercenary. We happen to do both. Perks allow the mercenary to alter the mercenary allows you to alter the mercenary's attack deck modifier by adding new or more powerful modifiers and removing some of the nasty negative ones that creeping up in combat. Okay, so when I played this in the board game, the tabletop game, I immediately did the wound card. Plus one wound it is fantastic. It doesn't matter when it comes up. It's great. Every time it comes up, it, even if it kills the target, it's a plus one. It did extra damage. It killed the target. If the target didn't die, it's got a wound. If it got left on one health, it's got a wound. So, you know, there's some people do resilient negative side effects um you know curses and things like that um add a heal one you know immobilize i really like the lacerate cards i really do um i have two um i've only got them ever one at a time in the board game um Okay, I am going to add a wound card. Ah, oh, man, I want that other one. Uh. The negative two. It's a zero. See, currently, I added one card. So, it increased, it decreased my odds of drawing a negative. Because I added one positive card. So, that decreased my odds, you know, slightly to draw this negative. If I remove this negative 2 and add a plus 0, I decrease my odds of drawing a negative again. And I have a chance to do just zero. I feel another wound card is going to be beneficial for him. Um, I just feel that that is the way to go. So Wrath, uh, close to leveling up. Um, Gluttony has leveled up. So we have Flashing Burst. Uh, attack 3, Rage 3, Move 4, I kind of like that. Icy Blast, Attack 2, Rage 3, Muddle, Creates Ice, it's a Burn, Heal 6, Rage 2. Um, 
I'm not even gonna talk about that. I'll take an icy blast. Uh, and I'm going to replace um, like that card. Like that card. I'm gonna replace Impaling Eruption with Icy Blast. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. It's gonna move four on it. Yeah, I don't like the Earth. I don't know what he uses Earth, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, let's go perk. We have two perk points now. Uh, I could go with the adding plus twos, similar to what I did, and um, get elements created. Um, I could add some rolling modifiers with a earth and wind, uh, light and dark, or I could add a lacerate, because that's how I roll. Um, huh, add a plus zero stun card. That, that I just don't think it's gonna I think the effect is gonna be is gonna be better so um, all right so world map so he didn't do anything or she didn't do any greed is greed and wrath they're on the verge of leveling up um, sloth has leveled um, the map of the city. Um, we have a reputation of two that has an effect to the shops. Let's go ahead and go to the merchant real quick and we'll see what he has. Um, so, nothing. Uh, boots of Striding, give him some extra movement. Um, oh, let's see, she has 30. Does she want a piercing bow? Um, I think she may want a piercing bow. Let me think about that. Let me go over here. He does want this shield for that extra defense. Um, piercing is nice when you need it. I also need to save 10 gold for a power potion when she gets to level 3, but I got time before she does that, so let's buy that. Piercing bow. And he has 31. gonna really take damage um, you know I honestly think he's just gonna hold on no oh, he's gonna get the boots he's gonna get the boots to move do more, move more, and do more looting. Um, Sloth is the only one left here. 
he, they don't have what he wants. So he doesn't want any of that stuff. So let's go back to the world map here. And that's where we're going to leave it. We start every encounter with the city encounter. Well, that is the story of the Deadly Sins for today. We took on the Inox camp. We barely managed to destroy them and get out there with a live wrath. Failed his kills. Just could not connect and just missed everything and couldn't get the five kills. Greed couldn't, couldn't get the first kill. It's just well, very frustrating. Tried it and could not get it. Let me open that door right at the end to get that perk point. And Sloth, he made sure nobody became exhausted, even though Greed was about to fall flat from all the coins she carried. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. And I hope everyone has themselves a fantastical day.